Hello everyone, this is Brony Calc, and today we had day one of the 2017 United States of America Mathematical Olympiad. I was fortunate enough to compete in it for the first time, and I'd like to share to you the solution for the one problem I actually got. I did not get the errors because they were very hard. If I were to make a video on my finished solution for number three, it would probably take an hour, so I'm not going to touch that, but I will touch number one, which goes a little something like this. We have two positive integers, a, b, both are greater than two, and the greatest common in divisor of a, b, generally written just with parentheses like this, is one. And we want to find infinitely many pairs of this, such that a plus b divides a to the b plus b to the a. So. Looking at this, there's not much I can really get off the bat, but I can try. A to the B and B to the A, that's a little annoying because we don't have the same exponent. But what if we did? If we look at this, we see that the greatest common divisor of A and B is 1. Now, if A and B were both even, it would be 2 or 4 or 8, etc., etc., it just point is it wouldn't be one. So at least one of these two numbers is odd. Let's say a is odd for the sake of argument. Then I don't know anything about a to the b plus b to the a just yet. I do know that a to the a plus b to the a. This is a sum of odd powers, so it is divisible by a plus b, and you get the whole a to the a minus 1 minus a to the a minus 2 times b plus a goes on and on and on. I'm not going to write it out, but we know this is true. So, what we want to show now is a plus b divides the difference between these two, because if it divides this and it divides this, it'll divide the difference. a to the b minus a to the a. I'm going to factor out that a to the a really quick. And note that it doesn't really matter or if A is bigger than B or not at this point because we're just going to get reciprocals and then we can just switch everything around if it's the other way. So we have A to the A, A to the B minus A minus 1. Now, A, B, common divisor is 1, so the common divisor between A and A plus B is also going to be 1. So we know that a to the a is not divisible by a plus b, which means if this is going to be true, we need a plus b divides a to the b minus a minus 1. So now it's time to move away from writing this as divisibility and to start writing this as remainders. If this has a remainder of 0 when divided by this, in other words, if this is divisible by this, then a to the b minus a that's a remainder of 1, or is mod 1, mod a plus b. So, now we can use Euler's totient theorem. We're going to use the totient function of a plus b divides b minus a. Because a and a plus b are relatively prime, so if this is going to be 1, b minus a must be visible by that totient function. But we don't know what the totient function is at this point. It could be something really ugly. So we want to figure out how to, what is, is the prime factorization of a plus b. Now, if you've ever played around with the ABC conjecture, you know this is a really hard question. <laughs> and so let's try and make it a little easier. We want to find something nice and simple. But first off, we need to know, is a plus b even or odd? Well, let's see what happens if a plus b is odd. If a plus b is odd, it has all odd factors, p, q, etc. And it's going to become, and its totient will become divisible by p minus 1, since there's a p in it, q minus 1, and so on and so forth. But since these are odd, these are even, which means these are even, but b but if a plus b is odd, then b minus a equals a plus b, which is odd, minus 2a, which is even, 
must also be odd. So we have even numbers dividing odd numbers, which never happens. So we know that a plus b, and thus b minus a, is even. So what's the simplest thing we can get with an even? Well, obviously, the, well, the simplest when it comes to the totient function is just to have products of primes, nice and simple. So let's try 2 times some odd prime. So we have a plus, so what's the totient function of 2p? Well, the 2, well, we, since we have a 2, we multiply by 1 over 2, or 2 minus 1, and we have p, we multiply by p minus 1 over p. The 2 and the p cancel, so we get p minus 1 divides b minus a. But if we're picking and choosing what we want, why don't we just say b minus a equals p minus 1? That's certainly nice and simple. So then we have b minus a equals p minus 1. b plus a equals, equals 2p. So 2b equals 3p minus 1. And, and 2a equals p plus 1. And we have to remember at this point, a is odd. So I'm going to write it as... 2k plus 1. So we have 2, 2k plus 1, or 4k plus 2 equals p plus 1, or p equals 4k plus 1 for some integer k. So p is of this form, 4k plus 1. And if we do that, we should be able to get a solution. But let's check. Go back to the beginning. So we have a now is p plus 1 over 2, and b is equal to 3p minus 1. Over, all over 2. And p is some prime of the form 4k plus 1. So, going back to our original statement, the thing we've been trying to prove. First off, we need these to have no common factors. Well, if you look closely, you can notice that at b is equal to 3a minus 2. So that means that the common factors between a and b is common factors between a and 3a minus 2, a and negative 2, could be positive 2, could be negative 2, it doesn't really matter. So we know a is odd, so this has to be 1. So we're good in that front. And since this is a prime of the form 4k plus 1, the smallest one is 5. So 5 plus 1 over 2 is 3. And as we said, so that's bigger than 2. And as we said before, b equals 3a minus 2. Since this is supposed to be greater than 1. I left that there the whole time. It doesn't really matter. So we have b is equal to 3a minus 2. So this is greater than 3a minus 2a. This inequalities, flipping around negatives and all that. This is equal to a, b is greater than a, a is greater than 1, everything is good. So, now we start writing numbers together. We already said a plus b is 2p. And we have p plus 1 over 2 to 3p minus 1 plus 3p minus 1 over 2 to p plus 1 over 2. Get rid of the p plus 1 over 2, and you have 2p divides p plus 1 over 2 to the 3p minus 1 over 2 minus p plus 1 over 2 to the p plus 1 over 2 plus p plus 1 over 2 plus 3p minus 1 over 2 to p plus 1 over 2. So, Oh, right, this is p plus 1 over 2. So, we already showed that since this is 4k plus 1, top is 4k plus 2, all this is 2k plus 1, this is odd, so it's divisible by the sum. The sum is 2p, so we can just ignore all of this right now. All of this is good. So, for the rest of this, we have 2p divides... It's p plus 1 over 2 to the p minus 1 minus 1. 
times something. Well, Totian function of 2p is p minus 1, so, p mi so something relatively prime to the p minus 1 is congruent to 1. This is divisible by 2p, and we are almost done. But we just, we've been, we just have to check that there are infinitely many solutions. Fortunately, we know that 4k plus 1 is an arithmetic sequence. And by Dirichlet's theorem, um, in every arithmetic sequence, there's an infinite number of primes. Using that fact, we can safely say we have found an infinite set of solutions, and we are done. Thank you for watching this video. Uh, if you enjoyed it, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, all of that, and I will see you next time.